A time to travel. England. To be or not to be. Copyright Macmillan Publishers Limited. 2013. Produced by London Language Experience. Hi, I'm Amber. Amber Adams. Now keep this to yourself, but I've got something amazing to show you. Okay, it's a watch, but it's not just any old watch. Listen to what happens when I touch it. I can use it to travel through time to anywhere I want to go. So, what do you reckon? Are you ready to come on an adventure? William Shakespeare is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language. Not that much is known about the man himself, but there are several things that we know. Feeling sleepy? Are you confused, Miss Adams? No, sir. I wasn't asleep. Please don't be angry. I was thinking about Shakespeare. Ha! Do you expect me to believe that? Honestly, I'm embarrassed now. I love Shakespeare. Then perhaps you might like to tell the whole class what I just said. What is considered to be Shakespeare's favourite line from his play Hamlet? There's no point in looking at your watch, Amber. Class doesn't end for... Right then. I guess the best way to find out his favourite line is to ask him myself. Roll up, roll up! Auditions today for William Shakespeare's new play. Romeo and Juliet. Male actors only. Roll up, roll up! Perfect. That's where I'll find him. The auditions at the theatre. I'm excited. <sighs> oh, but male actors only. I think I need some different clothes to wear. Hmm. Let's see. Ha. I'm sure I'll find some in that market over there. Check out these fantastic clothes. I look just like a boy from the 16th century. Now I only need to get the boy's voice right. I need to get the voice right. I need to get the voice right. I need, I need to get the voice right. Hmm. <clears throat> Good day. I'm here for the audition. Curious. You are completely overdressed. This is an audition, my dear. Not a royal performance for Queen Elizabeth herself. Now, what experience in acting do you have? Well... I played a lead role in Richard III last year. Mmm. William will want to hear you perform. <laughs> Thank you. I'm relieved. That's wonderful. Now, if you could please step through the door. Come in, boy. Good to meet you. I'm William Shakespeare. My goodness, you look like a peacock. Oh. I was told this was the latest fashion. Hm. Now, I will be reading the part of Romeo, and you, the part of Juliet. Here is the script. Don't be scared. Begin reading. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father, and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love. Stop there! You're... you're not reading from the script. How do you know these lines? No one has heard this play before. Have you been spying on me? No. No. Uh, I... I studied it at school. Oh, oh. 
I, I, I mean, um, I just pick things up very quickly. Um, I've, I've, I've got a photographic memory. Photographic memory? What are you talking about? Are you lying to me, boy? There's no need to be suspicious. What's your name? Um, to tell you the truth, I'm actually a... Don't be shy, boy. Spit it out. Uh, Toby? No, I mean it's, um, yes. Yeah, yes, it's Toby. You don't know your own name? Well, is it Toby or not Toby? <laughs> to be or not to be? <laughs> is that a question? Don't laugh at me, boy. That is a question. Toby or not Toby? Toby or not to be? That is a question. To, to be or not to be? That is a question. That is the question. That's the question I've been looking for, Toby. What an amazing boy you are. I'm actually a girl. Yes, yes, of course. Now, where is my quill and parchment? I think this is the best line that I've ever written. My favourite. It's the missing piece to my new play Hamlet. To be or not to be. That is the question. Whether tis greater... No, no, no. Whether tis nobler in the mind... Did I? Just... I think I just accidentally wrote Shakespeare's favourite line. Against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more. Well, I think I've got my answer. Time to travel back to class. Class doesn't end for another 15 minutes. Now, can you tell us the line or not? To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> A lucky guess. It goes on. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea or troubles and by opposing end them to die to sleep no more. I don't believe it. I'm shocked. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Get down off your chair immediately. I'm not amused. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream.